them in the name of Jesus. Uh. Fire them in the name of Jesus. Uh. Anywhere near the president and the deputy president uh, and their spouses in the name of Jesus. Uh. And plant the righteous ones. Uh. For the Bible says uh, that the righteousness of the Lord uh, shall establish uh, the, king, the, the thrones of the king uh, and the presidents of this nation uh, shall be established by righteousness. Uh, in the by the name of Jesus, uh, it is a serious business. Uh, uh, call upon the hand of the Lord uh, and the outstretched mighty hand of the Lord uh, and deploy the hand of the Lord in the Senate uh, and deploy the hand of the Lord in the assemblies uh, and deploy the hand of the Lord uh, in the county assemblies uh, and deploy the mighty of the hand of the Lord uh, uh, to uproot and pick out every wicked mind, uh, every wicked daughter. Rezeka. Uh, and this nation belongs to the Lord and the righteous shall have dominion in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost we pray and believe somebody shout Amen somebody shout a serious Amen because it is done and fixed in the name of Jesus I want us to pray for the church in some five, ten minutes. I want us to pray for the church in the mighty name of Jesus because I believe uh, the church should not only be involved in politics or governance of a nation, uh, but the church should own the structures that put leaders into place. Mahande Babakoza. For the church to execute such a mandate, the church needed to be bold. Philippians 120, Philippians chapter 1, verse number 20, the Bible says uh, that Paul says, I am bold for Christ as I was before. The church has dared to be bold before. We pray that the boldness of Christ be upon the church, uh, that the church will stand in the space uh, and declare the will of the Father upon his people. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray for unity upon the church. Pray for boldness upon the church uh, and pray that the church will embrace the, the kingdom mindset uh, and the, regardless, uh, regardless of denomination and faith and beliefs uh, and that the church will embrace a kingdom mindset. Uh, the church will be united uh, for the glory of God. Uh, open up your mouth and pray and that the church will not cower and that the church will arise uh, and the church will arise and declare, declare and that God has given the governance of this nation uh, unto the church not for two, ten years uh, but for generations in the name of Jesus uh, and we shall not let it go in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, come on somebody intercede for the body of Christ uh, uh, to have some boldness uh, in the name of Jesus uh, and to be united in love uh, uh, for the glory of God. Rebahando rebasekatari basaya iriheketezi bakorabara kando ri mahando re baseka ya ri hekete zibayando arahamba baba 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 and thank you Christ Jesus the Messiah uh, seated in the heavenly places uh, at the right hand of the father interceding for nations and for your bride the church oh let the church be united lord uh, by the power of the blood of jesus uh, and by the love of jesus uh, let the church be united lord uh, uh, to occupy and overcome uh, in the name of jesus uh, uh, for the glory of god uh, for the good of the people of jehovah uh, in the name of jesus uh, and father we thank you Lord, we give you glory. We bless your holy name. Rebahakata zekete ribazaya. Makorerererere bosi. Rekete zekata yando. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout a better amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. And at this time, at this time in that moment of prayer, I want us to pray for His Excellency, the Deputy President, and his entire family in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to commit him to the Lord 
in Jesus' mighty holy name. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 20, verse number 15, the Bible says, do not be afraid or dis dis uh, discouraged for the battle is not yours but God. I repeat, do not be discouraged do not be afraid or discouraged. For the battle is not yours, but God. Second Chronicles 20, verse number 15. Hallelujah. I want us to pray for the president and the family. As you know, uh, that uh, whatever is happening right now, uh, the inclination of much pressure and, uh, 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 and the disturbance uh, is incarnated into this family uh, because the enemy is threatened because of the mandate that God has given this family. And uh, my one is that uh, whatever God intended to do through this family, God will still do. No matter what men think, no matter the conspiracy, uh, but God has not changed his agenda. Men could have changed the agenda. But God does not change his agenda. And there is a special mandate. There is a mantle that is upon our excellency, Pastor Dr. Dokas. And that is a burden for the church. And the devil wants to think that he can divert that. I want us to arise because we know with some good understanding that the enemy is waging war against kingdom. Uh, it is a spiritual battle uh, but these ones are God chosen uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, uh, but I want to say and declare uh, that the generals of God are made upon the mountains of afflictions uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and the Bible tells us in James 5 13 uh, uh, that is anyone among you afflicted, uh, he treated uh, a suffering evil he should pray. It is right now that we need to pray and declare, declare uh, that this battles uh, are not for us and our excellency and not for the family in the name of Jesus uh, and they are the Lord's uh, and that they should not fear and they should not be discouraged uh, and the assignment of God stands uh, and God will see it into fulfillment uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and lift up your voice for the sake of this family in the name of Jesus uh, and the will of God shall prevail in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and that God will give them courage uh, and that God will give them strength uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Rebakata zokata, we transfer the battles. Irakata zokete ribarakadaya, rekete zikata from off the shoulders of this family. We surrender the battles uh, of this family unto the Lord. Uh, and the one says the battles are thou Jehovah God uh, and take up these battles uh, of his excellency the deputy president Jopre regarding a shower uh, but father we uh, surrender him unto thee uh, uh, take up the battles of our excellency uh, pastor Dr. Dokas dear father in the name of Jesus uh, uh, together with their sons a uh, uh, king that Kevin, uh, we declare, declare that uh, they are covered by the blood of Jesus uh, and they are hidden in the blood of Jesus uh, where the enemy cannot locate them uh, and the enemy may try uh, but he will not succeed uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we scatter every conspiracy against their lives, uh, against their mission, uh, against the assignment that is given them of the Lord uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Abba Father, we thank you. Abba Father, we give you glory. Hear our cry this day. We have seen your move. And since last day, dear Lord, we have seen your move. Heavenly Father, what trust is in thee. And the Bible says,